Hey y'all. So, my woman's group Bible study got canceled tonight and I'm so super sad. So I decided since I have free time, why not make a vlog? This is not intentional. I don't have any specific direction I plan on going with this. I'm just gonna talk for a few minutes and see where things go. Obviously, Bible study is not going well. At least the group isn't. I've been doing it independently on my own because that's kind of the points of the new study we started. Basically, my church was doing community groups and what would happen is every Wednesday night you just go there and they had different groups that you could be a part of like men's, women's, I think seniors and stuff like that. So you just kind of would join a group that related to you and get to know the people and continue meeting there every week doing a study learning about whichever book it was. So that ended my group and I, we decided to just do our own study outside of the church and continue to meet weekly. That has proven to not go very well at all. It was always kind of this way anyways during the study at church because not everybody can always meet up at that time due to work and other things. So there's probably about 12 of us total in the group and then the people who showed up would be anywhere from like three to six people maybe at the same time. We talked with everybody. We kind of discussed that we wanted to do our own Bible study. We found this awesome Bible study on Amazon and it was super cheap and it was on Prime so everyone could get it in time for our next meeting. It's all a study guide um, on the book of Luke. And my little clothes pins. It's like an actual study. It tells you verses, there's questions, there's some background information explaining everything and putting things more into context. I have my little notebook here. I don't know if I want to show you guys. It's kind of like sloppy, but there's that. And so I've been really enjoying it. And I personally always, like I love studying. I love learning more. I watch documentaries all the time for fun. Through doing this and taking notes, like I already have everything memorized that I've written on the first couple of pages. And I know I don't have to refer back to the text to say like, oh wait, what were we talking about? What is the story about? I just remember it. And I get for everybody, it's different how you remember things, but I'm totally like, a like I need to do it myself. I need to write it myself. Once I write it, it's stuck in my brain. So I've really been enjoying it. But it is a daily study. It's whereas before we would do what we'd meet up once a week and go over a few verses and like that's how we learn the story. This is six weeks and it's five days a week. So and each day is pretty long. I just started last night to kind of see how it goes and and not anywhere near through day one and I worked on it this morning as well. I understand for the girls it may be something that is a little too much for them. It's not exactly what they were wanting to do, but I do know two of them are kind of down. They still felt like it was a lot to do it every day. But right now it kind of looks like there's only three of us total who are really into doing this study, this daily study. Sorry, this camera's like fallen. Basically, the whole group is just falling apart. We also changed the day of the week that we were meeting, and I feel like that wasn't the best idea for everyone. Tonight, only one other girl was able to make it, so it would have just been two of us, and last week it was three of us, so I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen with that. Um, if you have any ideas of how to find other women of any age in my city, you don't need to know where I live, but just like, how do you find people locally without just going to the church? We need more people who genuinely have the want to dive in and study and learn more instead of just talking about it, chatting and going because for me, with the women's group, I love my ladies, I love having girl time, but my main purpose of doing so is to learn about the Bible as well and learn the stories and just make it more fun because I can do it myself since they showed me the Bible app, the most amazing app in the world. If you don't have it, get it. 
um, I can do all this study on my own. I can, you know, I can use the Bible app to do different studies. That's not what I want. I want to talk about it with other women. That's where I'm at with that. Don't know what's happening. In other news, I don't think I mentioned it in a video, but there was like a glitch with my rent and they were trying to say I broke the lease. I was sick last weekend for a few days. I had the worst sore throat and my whole body was sore. I was just tired. I didn't want to do anything. I couldn't work. Um, and then I finally told my grandma, I was like, I think I have a fever, like it's this bad. And so she came over and she's a nurse and she didn't know I was sick before that. So I told her what was wrong and she gave me some medicine and I just gradually got better that whole day. And now I'm pretty much 100% better right now. I feel kind of stomach sick. I made cookies for the group tonight and then since it didn't happen, there are mini cookies, thank goodness, because if they were big cookies, this would be really bad, but I had seven of them, so they're like this big, I had seven of those, that's really awful. I was starving, I didn't eat yet all day, it's like 7pm right now, so I had seven of them and then I stopped and then I had a salad and then I didn't finish the salad because it was like way too much and I feel tummy sick. Right now it kind of sucks because I really love this bible study that i'm working on i don't really want to just join another group right now and do whatever they're working on i like doing things like this where like when i'm bored and i have nothing to do i'm like okay let me work on the study and i like it like that i don't like it to be like oh i have nothing to do until wednesday i don't know give me some i need advice i need christian advice down in the comments below something somebody church work max is good family is pretty good i do need to book a flight to florida though it's been i think two months since i've been there father's day is coming up so my daddy lives uh sorry my daddy lives in florida so father's day is coming up so i'm kind of thinking i should try to get book a flight to go out there for father's day because i did have to miss his birthday his 50th birthday and i was so sad in the camera do you want to say hello? Do you want to say hello? No, you just want quality time with mommy. You just want quality time. Oh my goodness, this phone holder thing. Yesterday? I think it was yesterday. I was in the shower in the morning and he of his own free will came all the way in the shower and he hasn't done that since I lived at my last house because I just had a walk-in shower and he'd come in all the time. But since I had the bathtub, he didn't like it and he was freaked out, but... oh, where's my baby thing? But for whatever reason, he just decided to... First he stepped in like halfway and I was already dying, like, you are so funny. And he left and he came back and got all over him. So I guess right now my life is kind of slow. I'm all for slow living, but I'm not for lonely living. The woman's group's not going well, nobody's showing up. I do feel very blessed though. Other than those things, um, definitely financially blessed. I've been enjoying church. I got to go to the For King and Country concert that we had at my church, which was so awesome. They're great performers. I went by myself. A few ladies from my group went and just nobody bought tickets near each other. We all bought them at different times. So I just finally last minute decided to get a ticket. I was alone. Oh, and tomorrow, if you don't already know, I have my eyebrows microbladed and what that means is basically um, they tattoo to fill in if you have thin eyebrows or like missing hair anywhere. It's like basically my real eyebrows end here. They're like super short and they just, they're thin and they didn't fit my face. So. Um, I had them done and when you get it done, you have to get a touch up. I'm gonna have that fixed tomorrow and also whenever I used to do my makeup to fill them in, like my real hairs are right, go up to like here. And I told her I normally fill them in even a little more in past that. And she didn't even fill them all the way into where my little hairs go. So I've been feeling like I have a big alien forehead, even though I know to everybody else it looks perfectly normal, but to me it's just like, makes me feel better when it goes in just a little bit more just a little any bit more thank you so much for watching this i'm so sorry it's boring if you like made it to this point congratulations to you you are a trooper you must be really bored or for whatever reason you are genuinely interested in my life that's like slightly falling apart 
so thank you for listening and if you have anything to say put it in the comments down below and if you like this give it a thumbs up subscribe if you want to see better content go check out my other videos if you like any of them subscribe because i don't normally post videos like this go follow me on instagram comment on my pictures i will comment back do not send a dm because i don't reply to dms anymore and i have somebody else that manages them it can give you like a solid thank you and stuff like that through comments so make sure you go do that tell your friends about me get me some more youtube subscribers because i'd rather do videos than pictures if you want more personal stuff and you want more videos like this then you just have to help me grow my subscribers on youtube because that's why i never post on here also in the description below i have all my links to everything Check out my blog because since I have nothing to do today and it's too late and dark to take pictures, I'm going to be doing some major blog posting, so go check it out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.